Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. 3 to the power of a multiplied by 3 to the power of a equals 24 multiplied by 3 to the power of negative a. Now, if you want to take a step further, we have a here and a here. We have the same base. We can pick the base and add the powers. Then on the other side, we have 24 multiply by 1 over 3 to the power of a. Okay, if you remove this negative, then you have a fraction there. We can just multiply the right hand side. So we have 3 to the power of 2a, that is a plus a equals 24 over 3 to the power of a. Now, this is believed to be over 1, so we can cross multiply, and then we have 3 to the power of a, which is this, multiplying 3 to the power of 2a. And that will be equal to 21, or I mean 24 times 1. And this is, it is the same 24. Now, we have the same base again, so we can pick one of them. Then we have 3 to the power of a plus 2a. And this is going to be equal to 24. Now, we add the left hand side. So, we have 3 to the power of 3a equals 24. And at this point, since we cannot express 24 in this form, we will take the log of both sides. Okay, so we'll now have um, log of 3 to the power of 3a equals log of 24. This is a. Now, the whole of this is the power, right? And the power here can come behind so that we have 3a multiplying log 3. Then on the other side, we have log of 24. Now, what if we divide both sides by log 3 and divide this by log of 3? This will go with this. Now, 3 to the power of a is equal to log 24 divided by log of 3. Now, we can simplify log 24. So, we have 3a equals log of 24 is 3 multiplied by 8. Then, we divide this by log of 3. Now, we'll apply um, another law of end um, logarithm. Since we are multiplying these two, it's going to be the log of 3 plus the log of 8. Now, everything is over log of 3. Okay, so let's continue from here. Okay, so our 3a now will be log of 3 divided by log of 3, then plus log of 8 divided by log of 3 as well. Now, this is going to go with this one, and 3 to the power of a is equal to 1 plus this right here. We have log of 8 divided by log of 3. Okay, now let's continue. We'll apply change of base to this so that we have 3a equals 1 plus log of 8 to the base of 3. Okay, these two were in um, base 10, right? But now we've changed the base from base 10 to base 3. But then we are looking for a, not 3a. So I'm going to divide this by 3, divide this by 3, and this right here will be divided by 3. So we multiply it by 1 over 3. 
when you're dividing by 3, it means you can multiply it or multiply the number by 1 over 3. Now, to rearrange this, this is going with this. Our A now will be 1 over 3 plus, we can write this first, 1 over 3. Then we have log of 8 to the base of 3. So this right here becomes the value of A. And like I always do, we have to verify our work. The equation is, um, okay, we got um, 3 to the power of A multiplied by 3 to the power of A equals 24 multiplied by 3 to the power of negative 1. This is what we had. And um, from what we did, we were able to bring this to the other side, or we took this step. This is 3 to the power of 2a from here. Okay, if you know what I've done, then subscribe to my channel. Then on the other side, we'll have 24 to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of a. 24, sorry, this is 24 multiplied by 1 over 3 to the power of a. So if you cross multiply this right here will multiply this because it is um, a denominator so that means we're going to have three then add the powers we have 3a and this is equal to 24 now what is our a let's put in the value of a we got 3 to the power of 3 then in place of a here we'll have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, log what? Log 8 to base 3. Close this. Now, will this be equal to 24? If it is not 24, then we are not correct. Let's open the power, I mean the, the bracket of the power, so that we have um, 3 here. 3 times 1 over 3, that is um, 3 over 3 then plus this multiply by this it's going to be 3 over 3 then we have log 8 to base 3 okay now this is going to be 3 to the power of 1 plus this right here will become 1 and 1 times log 8 to base 3 is log 8 to base 3 now we'll apply another law of um, indices to this this right here is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 8 to base 3 okay because if you pick one of the bases since we are multiplying we'll have this 3 then add the powers it will give you this one here using one of the laws of indices now what do we do 3 to the power of 1 is 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of log a to base 3. Since this number here is the same as the base, we can let go of them and the answer is 8. From there, the value remaining here is 8. So it's going to be 3 multiplied by that 8. And 3 times 8 is 24. Right? So this means that our a to be equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 8 to the base of 3 satisfies the equation. Subscribe to my channel for more of this.